on your Boxlight panel itself, you should launch the Unplugged app. This can be found directly in the Apps Launcher located in the bottom right hand corner in those nine dots that appear or from your sidebar menu simply by selecting the triangle on either side and selecting the three squares with a Wi-Fi symbol. Once your Unplug app has been launched on the panel, you will notice three rectangles. One is how to install the app, which we have hopefully already done. The second is making sure that it is connected to the internet as well as the IP address. And then the third is launch the unplugged app and which panel to select. What you will notice though, are the icons in the bottom right hand corner. The first thing we're going to do is select this settings wheel. When we open and launch the settings wheel, you will notice a whole lot of items that appear. The first is your device name. If you have multiple panels in your building, you want to be able to easily identify the device you are connecting to. So simply by selecting the pencil, you will be able to highlight and change this name. So if I delete using the keyboard, it will all disappear and then it will allow me to enter in a name for the panel. This can be your last name, this can be your room number, this can be your location, whatever you want. Once my name has been set, the next item is connection mode. Connection mode means when you are connecting your device, meaning your computer, your laptop, your iPads, your tablets, your phones, how do you want to be able to find this device? Typically the easiest is by the name. However, you also have the ability to set a six digit pin code or an eight character pin code. We are going to skip the password because we are going to set monitoring settings in the next step. Next is device name floating window. When you turn this on, you will notice that all of a sudden the name training panel appears on the panel itself. If you don't need this name or number that you have set to appear, go ahead and turn that off. Multiple screens. I have mine set to nine screens. You can disable this or set it as low as two screens. What this means is how many screens are able to cast to your panel at one time. Again, part of this casting software, the goal would be if your students have devices, they can cast their devices up to the screen to share what they're doing, maybe share a presentation, show an example of something, and you can have up to nine screens at one time showing on the panel itself. However, if this is something that you're only maybe going to show your desktop and a laptop or an iPad in your laptop, maybe you only have two screens. I personally keep it at nine, which it's again, personal choice. Show client name and screen sharing. We do recommend you turn this on. When we were setting our computer names when we downloaded the app, this is where it shows. So you want to know who is connected to your panel. This is a great one to keep on. Your next ones are all about personal preference. Auto full screen, if you want your computer to make sure it is adjusting to full screen, you go ahead and turn that on. If you are a Mac district and you want to make AirPlay visible, go ahead and turn that on. However, the difference between utilizing AirPlay and utilizing Unplugged if you are using AirPlay with a Mac and you cast to the panel, your panel is being utilized like a projector. If you are using your Mac and casting through Unplugged, 
There is touchback capability, meaning you could leave your computer in a different location and still have touchback capability. You can control your computer directly from the panel itself. That's kind of the difference there. Miracast, same thing, and Chromecast. Utilizing Chromecast allows if your students have Chromebooks, when they go to search for Chromecast, your panel will show up in a list for them to be able to cast to. So if you want the most secure, you are going to turn off those three settings. And then once you have that done, go ahead and select the word close. The next setting feature that we are going to look at is the person icon. The person icon is your teacher control center. So when we were in our settings and I said I was not setting a password, this is where we have full control. When we say share screen, you will see this drop down. All allowed means anybody can share to your screen at any time as long as they are connected to the same network. Need authorization. This means anybody can share to your screen. However, what they share will not appear unless you allow it to appear. And the last choice is disable, which means your screen will not be visible and they cannot share to it. We highly recommend need authorization to be able to share. The next drop down is for view control and wireless annotation. This is allowing you to bring the panel to your device and control it from anywhere in the room. This piece is so powerful when utilizing Unplugged and we will dive deeper into that. However, we do recommend that you set this at view only. View only ensures that nobody is able to touch and control the panel from any other device unless you specifically give them the permission to do so. The final is your floating moderator bar. If it is set to auto, it will appear when a device is connected. We do recommend that you choose always display because you can move it around. When it is at always display, you are able to view the number of devices that have connected directly to your panel. The final thing that you're going to see is if there is a device connected, you will see an icon for the device that is connected. You will see the name, and then you have three icons. The first is giving touch capability, the second is sharing the screen, and the third is disconnect. So you can always disconnect a device that may need to be disconnected. We are actually going to stop at that piece of settings for Unplugged because the other two icons on the bottom and the website will be discussed in later videos.